Well, hello guys, it's been a while once again. And I have a few things to, to bring up in this video. It's more like a video update, actually. Um, as you know, I've said earlier that I will compete in October, but that won't happen because I'll be attending my friend's wedding instead. So, so no competition in October. Mm. But yeah, there'll be more competitions coming up, so... No biggie. Just a little bit of shame that this competition would have been really close to me and it was or should be a regional bigger competition. So, And um, I also switched up my programming. Uh, as you know, I've been running the Juggernaut AI for a year and a half, something like that. And I thought it was time to, to give some other programming a try. Um, and I jumped on Shaco programming and I'm using the Shaco app, the Shaco AI, or it's called Shaco Gold in the App Store. And I chose to jump on Shaco because the programming itself I'm familiar with and I like it. The last few times I've tried Shaco templates and I feel it's the right time to, to do that because I've trained now quite a long time with the Juggernaut AI with uh, hypertrophy blocks and a little bit higher reps so I think it's time to switch down to a fewer reps and uh, more weights if you will. That's more like Shaco programming in a nutshell. Even though this Shaco programming also has a good, good periodization of course, the Shaco app has that observation period first with 30 days which you enter your, your workouts, you do whatever you want basically and uh, it records your readiness levels and adaptations to training stress basically and then use that information to keep going forward when the observation period is ended. I just finished my observation period so did my first workout on this Shaco AI yesterday and I'm very excited to see what Mr. Roboboris has for me. I finished my RP10 week on Juggernaut AI, managed to hit a new rep, rep PB on my squats, 172.5 times 6 and I feel like I had a rep or maybe two in me after that. And as you see, I've switched to flats, flat shoes once again. Um, and as I said earlier, they feel more stable, all in all. Even though I won't make my reps as fast, I feel like I have more control. Especially when, when it's getting closer to failure, I feel like I grind the reps easier. I feel like they're more stable overall, so... That could also be a reason why I hit my rep BB so easily compared to my last one I think was maybe five six weeks in between that was 170 kilos times six a true all-out RP10 uh, I didn't hit, hit any rep PBs on my deadlift and bench because I attempted my my deadlift weight that I was supposed to, to hit the RP10 set and I didn't even move off the ground, so I knew something was, wasn't was right. And yeah, the same evening after that that workout session, I, I got a cold and I got sick, so that was maybe an explanation why. So I didn't get to try my bench RP10 either, so I skipped that. And I went straight into a deal like a week with my my cold while being sick. And I've slowly eased back into training the last week using my own home gym. With all the respect to the public gym, didn't want to train. I just was sick, so I kept it to myself with my own gym at the time. And I finally feel like now I'm 100% again back with my strength levels, as I won't have any 
and the RP 10 weeks with this programming it won't be maybe as excited to, to watch me hit new rep PBs here and there so that's all for this time and leave a like and until next time make some gains up here we're free Bound only by frozen memories Love